Hello, I do hope you're all well. Thanks for coming and checking out my little perfume video. I'm not too bad. As you can see, I'm still on bed rest because I'm now one week post-op from my little hysterectomy, which went fairly well, but did turn to a bigger op as planned, than planned, as, as I've already told you. Not very exciting, won't go over that again. If you do want a hysterectomy video, let me know, but I will put a little tidbits in each week, little updates. And as I say, I'm one week post-op, so nothing really to report yet. I have lost my tripod, so I've held you up with sellotape on a tray, which I'm holding on my lap in my hands right now. So if it shakes at all, or if the camera falls, and I can hear the sellotape trying to give way, it's scary. That is why. Don't fall. Don't fall. Anyway, today I've got part two of my perfume collection, and it's just four I'm showing. They're all vanilla based and they're what I'd call budget friendly ish, i.e., they're not, you know, sort of 50 quid upwards, but they're not 8 99 perfumes either. So they're available on the high street, you know, Boots, Superdrug, all that jazz, Amazon. And I've just got the four vanilla based ones that I have to show you, and I'll give my opinion on them. Basically, remember, I'm not an expert, so if I say anything, it's not to insult the perfume or anyone else who likes the perfume, but I don't like it. It's just my personal opinion and how it works on me, my skin, my chemistry and all that jazz. So just slight disclaimer. Please don't drop. It's really making threatening kind of click, 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 boom, 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 sounds. Anyway, I've got one little tiny quote to start with. I had so many quotes and I thought... I have actually shot this video already and it was really, really dark. It's still really dark. Not much I can do about that until I get a ring light, which I will be doing. But I had so many quotes I wanted to add. It just makes the video so long. So I'm just going to say the main quote, which I feel it sums it up for me, really. If I'm done with it. It's a Marilyn Monroe quote. You can't go wrong with Marilyn. She knew her stuff. She knew about glamour. She knew about um, being fabulous. She knew about scent fashion, charisma with a capital C. I mean, she was charisma, wasn't she? And I love her quote about, I don't go to bed with anything on me apart from Chanel number no. five. Anyway, that's not the quote I'm after. I'm not a fan of Chanel number no. five, actually, on me. It's lovely, but I think maybe I've overworn it, overused it in the past, and I just like something new now. Anyway, the quote from her is also a new one for me, and it is, there are no women who do not like perfume. There are women who have not found their scent. I couldn't sum it up better myself. So if anyone says, oh, I don't like perfume. I don't like scents. I don't like smells. They make me have a headache. I just don't like perfume. Oh, what's the point of perfume? You just haven't found your scent. And the last video I filmed, actually, I forgot the name of my signature scent. And my signature scent now, which I recall, is... <laughs> I've about to say I've forgotten again. It's La... No. L'Agent Provocateur. Agent Provocateur. Don't drop. I'm trying to drop again. Give me a few minutes. Oh my gosh, it's really trying to drop. Anyway, L'Agent Provocateur is, in a nutshell, it's fresh and minty it's basically peppermint sweet peppermint with a bit of like a sexy sultry kind of undertone of musk like a slightly warm earthy scent oh it's really trying to drop i'm not gonna drop i'm gonna hold it like that i think i'm gonna hold it like that because i'm so scared of it dropping sorry about that so lagent provocateur growing up well 20s and 30s actually not that long ago was my scent and I love the pink bottle with the black font on it, the black text and I highly, highly recommend. In fact, I was googling it earlier on to see if I could buy it again and I can buy it for twenty nine ninety nine from Amazon apparently and I highly recommend other perfumes at the moment. I love anything by Jo Malone. I love the way they are with a vanilla-esque actually foundation, good segue, and then whatever floral or sweet or fruity um, notes on top but they just don't last long enough for me 
and Lage and Provocateur actually did last quite well on me because smell it at the end of the day and actually a little tip I have is spraying perfume on your clothes and I think it lasts longer than on your skin anyway I'm going to start and stop nattering the first thing I've got to show you is Vera Wang Princess 100ml Eau de Toilette this is not Eau de Parfum I'm afraid it doesn't last as long you need to use about four times the amount and you do have to top it up because it doesn't last but it's gorgeous it's light it's vanilla-esque apple guava golden apricot and it costs 19.99 from amazon right now so that's a real bargain it's like i'm promoting it isn't it i promise you i'm not I haven't been paid a penny for anything i've ever done to do with youtube don't worry but this is a recent buy as you can see i've sprayed it a lot because i love the scent in the air love it on me on my bed clothes on my clothing and my hair and it doesn't last quite as long as I would like it to. So I do spray a lot. But I literally got it the other day. And it's just so light and beautiful. And it really... Just seems the other notes I need to tell you about that I haven't said already. It also has tuberose. And the base notes, which are with vanilla, are also amber and woods, apparently. But I highly recommend that. I probably told you before, I'm not a girly girl. I'm feminine and womanly i would say and i'm ladylike i hope well I, I aspire to be but i'm not girly i've never been girly never been to girly sweet pretty frilly lacy silky bloomers and pantaloons God, that's a really bad example i've never wanted like the little girly sweet uh dressing table make yeah makeup dressing table but um I like functional things, I like clean things, I do like nice things, I do like luxury, a bit of luxe, a bit of bling I like on other people, but this for me is just the blingiest thing ever and I, I'm loving it, I think I recommend it. It's very, very creamy and smooth and sweet, but not too sweet, it's fruity as well, so it's like a creamy fruit. I thought the scent, the most, the biggest scent was, um, let me pull this hand again, I thought it was melon melon and apple with vanilla but there's no melon in there so make of that what you will but i recommend that one the next one is a new buy for me i'm going to spritz it just so i can hmm i'll come and sneeze <laughs> right up my schnozzer ignore me coco mint and this was also from amazon it is 30 mil and it is what it says on the tin. It's cocoa mint. It's coconut mint. Have you ever heard of such a combo? I've said for years that minty flavours with sweet undertones and woody and vanilla base notes would be a hit. I mean, my Lagent Provocateur was similar. It was minty, but sweet and creamy with a bit of musk. And that was 16. Mmm, so nice. I will say, if you spray out yourself like an idiot like me, it is it's like inhaling mouthwash. It's like putting mouthwash into an atomizer like that and then spritzing it all over your face. I mean, there are worse things to breathe in in a, a bathroom, I suppose. But that's what I compare it to. It's akin to that for me. So, Sorbet de Coco Mint, sixteen fourteen, Really random price there. Uh, yeah. It, it has notes of coconut, mint and vanilla. And it's basically that. It's mint. It's a whoosh of mint. With then it's chased by and, and broken up, fragmented by vanilla and coconut. So creamy little droplets that enhance the mint. And the mint enhances the coconut. And it just goes round and round. Coconut, mint. And you keep getting different whiffs of different things. It's, it's delightful. Um, there's part of me that isn't quite sure about it. But on the whole... I love it. It's so weird and so wonderful and it's magical. It takes you to another place. It's, it is a bit like toothpaste and mouthwash in a spray and then with this lovely woof of coconut cream. I, I, you know, what more could you want? I do recommend it. I've nearly finished it. Would I repurchase? I don't know. I love it, but it doesn't last quite long enough for me which is a recurring theme here. I find vanilla-based perfume for me, apart from those one angel, that's one angel by Thierry Mugler, how you pronounce it. That's the only vanilla-esque gourmand 
and chocolate based scent that for me lasted properly so perhaps I should buy that again I love the packaging of that as well saying I'm ungirly and unglamorous but I love that which I'll have to buy it again won't I <laughs> and then perfume number three I've already featured this from Victoria's Secret Tease so it's Tease Creme Cloud and that was 15 quid in Glasgow Victoria's Secret for 7 mil Oh my gosh. And it's lovely though. I have to say they, these two are very, very similar. They're both a very light, creamy puff of vanilla cloud with a sort of fruity, sweet mingle, something mingling in there. So it's like that smells to me like melon and apple again with vanilla. But the notes which I've got here, it is meringue and vanilla. And those are the top notes. So creamy and softly sweet and gourmand. And then sandalwood flower, amber and musk. It's got a very slight, earthy, kind of sultry, musky tang and after scent to it. And very, very nice. Again, my only complaint is it doesn't last long enough on me. But what I've noticed with all these scents, I have to say, particularly with this one, is that if you spray it on clothing and hair, it lasts so well. If you're a smoker, very naughty. Not that I'm judging, nothing to do with me, not my business. I eat way too much cheese and cherry Pepsi Max, so whatever. Um, but if you are a smoker and you want to pretend you're not a smoker, or you want to hide the smell or it's gonna offend someone you sleep with, perhaps you lie down the pillow and your partner's like, oh God, dear, have you had another fag? Whatever, spray that. <laughs> And also, if you go into the toilet and it's less than fresh, spray this. Best thing ever. Um, I'm saying from experience, not in a nasty way, just that I like things to smell fresh. And I don't like the smell of cigarettes. I don't like the smell of toilets. I don't like the smell of drains. Gosh, there's a lot I don't like, isn't there? I like good smells. So that's why I have perfumes. I love good scents. I love fresh, sweet fruity sultry slight nice soft vanilla-esque smells I, I love the whole lot really but yes today is about vanilla vanilla smells and the last but not least yeah so jury's out on this one i don't want to slag off a perfume I've got nothing bad to say actually that's the thing i've got nothing great to say i suppose but it's the ariana grande vanilla mod and actually you know it is a nice enough scent it's vanilla it's very soft, it's light, it's clean, which is everything I like in a scent, I can't lie. And the actual notes are, which I was very interested to hear, because I had no idea. I know nothing about perfumes, remember, I'm no connoisseur or expert. I'm an armchair expert, very opinionated. But it contains juicy dark plum, creamy musk, and a luminous touch of pink freesia and vanilla, of course. But it just does not last on me. I spritzed it on my hair, my pillow, and it was nice to get into a bed with a you know, nice vanilla-esque cloud on my pillow. But could I smell it a few minutes later? No, I couldn't. And I do not like this packaging. I don't know who designed this. I'm sure it's very high fashion. You know, I'm hood, hood, hood couture. I know nothing about design, not gonna lie. Oh, I do have a degree that's an arty degree. But anyway, apart from that, I know nothing. And I don't know why this they thought this would sell. I really don't. I've looked at Ariana's other bottles. Lovely Ariana. Very beautiful singer. Beautiful lady, actually. But um, all her other perfume bottles are delightful. You have, like, clouds. You have, um, I think there's a rainbow. Correct me if I'm wrong. But really pretty, girly, sweet, fun, out there perfume bottles and this for me as i've said before reminds me of a plug-in um air freshener glade thing or maybe a sex toy something from ann summers or some kind of gadget some kind of tech maybe that's why they they thought it was cool maybe because it is like a tech like you know a, a speaker or something i don't know but it's not for me i i do there's me saying i'm minimalist i like really simple things i'm slipping again I like really simple design and elegance and understated you know prettiness but I, I am contradicting myself here I just love this bottle I'm not girly I'm not into girly things and 
clutter everywhere, but I I just love this bottle. Oh, I know I forgot to tell you about that bottle. Where's it gone? It came with something. I haven't chucked it. Oh, where's it gone? Or maybe it's on the bottle. It's on the bottle all the time. Okay, this bottle by the experts, all the whoever genius was in charge of this. Look at this. So it's a bottle. It's got a lid, but ah, it's not just a lid. Look at this. <gasps> You've got a ring. And I'm assuming that's a ring as well. That could almost be a ring. Look. You didn't have big chunky fat fingers like me. Look, you got yourself a couple of rings. Look. Ah, oh, not adorable. Yeah. So, I mean, three for the price of one. You've got the perfume and you've got not one, but two rings from Vera Wang. How delightful is that? I've got I've got a start to my jewellery collection now, guys. <laughs> anyway, out of those perfumes, the one I would repurchase is the Vera Wang. I'm surprised to say that that is the one I would go for again. I also like the mint, cocoa mint, and I would repurchase that. The... the Victoria's Secret one. I do like the bottle. I like the size of the bottle. It's very light, very dainty, but it's just not quite enough perfume in there for the price and doesn't last on me. But they're all lovely. A scent alone, I could recommend all of them very happily. So I have got more perfumes to show you. I've got bits and bobs of Jo Malone everywhere. I've got them in my car, the cupboard here. I've got them in my bag. I just need to get them out, clean them up and curate them to a little collection. And there's me saying how they don't last on me. They don't unless I put on a body lotion, a Jo Malone body lotion. So I think I've just talked myself into going to Jo Malone and I'm up to it. Selecting a new body lotion, something woody, I think, like wood, sage and sea salt. Oh, lovely. And a nice new perfume, possibly amber and lavender. I've always wanted that one for my collection. Anyway, you got me all oh, under 20 minutes. I'm going to love and leave you now. I need to get back onto my bed rest. Be, my, be the invalid that I am. And tidy up my room. Tidy up my room with this thing here. Picking things up. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, won't let me do that. And you were resting before on a Cherry Pepsi Max. So I bought 24 the other day. 24 from Amazon. Can you believe it? I've got to drink 24 cans, guys, before I can buy more. What can I say? Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching my video. If you've got to the end, you are very patient. Well done. Thank you for, for being patient and sticking with me. I know the lighting is atrocious. I will be doing something about that. And please feel free to comment on the hair, but I would ignore it, really. It hasn't been washed for well over a week, and it's just suddenly got really grim, and I can't really stand up in the shower right now. Gosh, I'm being a drama queen, aren't I? But I should have it washed again soon. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Take care of yourselves and of each other and hope to see you again soon. Bye.